another morning here at the store, just waiting for the shipment to come in. Usually comes in right first thing in the morning so that I can get everything unboxed and make my mess and clean it up before customers start coming in. A little bit of a smaller shipment today, but lots of cool stuff, things I normally wouldn't carry in the fish room that I get to play with here at the store. But let's get started. First box here, we're in the office so that there's no background noise. Let's see what we got. Got some big fish in here. Oh, these are the uh, cobalt blue zebra cichlids. So cichlids are something that I never thought I would get into, but now having the store, I've actually had some to take care of in the store and I'm falling in love with them. So keep an eye out for um, an order of cichlids and unboxing with that just for me, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take those home. I uh, got 15 of those. What do we have in here? Oh, these are a nice size. So these are the, um, the blood parrots, but these are yellow ones. I have some super red ones now. These are beautiful. Again, uh, what's great about the store is that I get stuff, I get to keep stuff that normally I would never have or own and get to see in person. Just because somebody will love those. We got some uh, Senegal Bitures here. Got two of them. Nice small size. I have a lot of customers who um, like to get the fish small and really grow them up. The Senegal Bitures I chose because I'm pretty sure those don't get massive. I don't have anything in the store that gets massive except for the arowana, and we only have one in the store right now. Oh, these are cool. These I'd never heard of before. Um, these were the Dalmatian platys, different from the Dalmatian mollies. So these actually look really cool. I was thinking if they came in cool, I was gonna take them home. So I might do that, to be honest. Let's see what else we got. I haven't been able to get these in several weeks. I uh, haven't had them yet once in the store. These are the Harlequin Resboras. These are a perfect size. Um, I personally like to get fish smaller and grow them out. Um, seems like a lot of customers feel the same. Oh, and here are the two albino cynical bitesers as well. And these guys are, these guys are really cool. I just don't keep them because they'll eat most of the stuff that I have. And then we've got some yo-yo loaches. Always really popular. On to the next box. Next box here, obviously I'm gonna go for this big blue bag and see what's in here. Oh, these are the uh, African dwarf frogs. So again, another um, thing that I was unable to get for several weeks. I've been open at this point for two months, and for two months I've been trying to get African dwarf frogs, so I got a good number of them. I think I got 25. Oh, these are the, the glass catfish. These are cool. Again, something I normally wouldn't keep, but these look really, really cool. I think people will really like them, how they're see-through, and it's a very unique fish. And looks like all the betas that I ordered are in here as well. They don't give a ton of water for them, but luckily these guys are delivered by truck and not airport to airport. Um, these will go nice in that uh, beta display that I was able to get. Um, the same one that Aquarium Co-op has in their store where they have like, I think they have eight units of it. Um, I only got one, but it can hold 32 betas. Really nice. Oh, these are nice size um, gold wonder killie fish. So I think I ordered more than this. Is this the other bag? Yes. Yeah, these guys are a nice size killie. Um, I think a good uh, starter one for them, them and the gardener eyes. Um, these are a type of platy. I'm not sure what, because I didn't order these. Neon orange painted platy. All right, these guys are cool. I'll have to check the invoice and see if that was like an add-on. Sometimes this vendor will give us some stuff added on, uh, which is always nice. Oh, and again, something I haven't been able to get in a while. Uh, the pea puffers. Got a good amount of pea puffers here. Um, just looking at these guys real quick. They look nice and fat. 
which is always good to see. I have some pond snails, some a customer dropped off yesterday, so that was good timing. I'll just feed him some pond snails and some blood worms. Last box for the day. We've got some Oscars here, some red Oscars. Yeah, I wish Oscars stayed small like this because they are beautiful and I see why people love them. And we got some Tiger Oscars here. So those were the red ones before. What do we got here? These are uh, panda parrot fish. But they don't look too panda. They look like platinum ones. I don't see like any, usually with the, when something called panda, they are um, some black spots on there. Still cool, looking good. This is like a filler bag, I guess. These I ordered for me. Kind of um, add some genetics to my line, the Celestial Pearl Danios. These guys are a nice size. Um, the price was really good. Um, I was afraid that they would be too small, but they were on sale. Um, you gotta watch those sales sometimes because it doesn't always mean that it's good. And we got some nice looking black angels with the nice stripes on the body. Yeah, those look really, really good. And we got some beta cups that we don't need because we have that really cool unit. So that was another unboxing, a little bit of a smaller shipment this week, but lots of cool stuff. You can see why I'm falling in love with these cichlids here. Just really awesome fish. Super interactive. Here are the new guys that we got. Keep an eye out for the next video. We'll see you in the next one.